Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. Um, so for today's video, I have some friend mail here from my friend Summer Michelle. Um, she has was kind enough to actually, this is like a combined, uh, it's kind of combined friend mail, but also some of the things that she, uh, that are in here is stuff that, um, I she had ordered for me in some releases from different vendors where I only wanted like a few things so she would ask me like hey do you want me to pick up these uh anything for you in this release to try to like you know save some money on shipping so I said oh yes that would be great so Summer thank you so much for offering to do that for me and you know um it's vice versa if there's anything that Summer ever wants to you know she, I will ask her if she wants me to pick up anything for her too and we'll just you know ship it to each other so it's really uh fun to do that too so you know it saves you know a little bit too so that way you don't have to place an order if there's only one or two things that you want so we are just gonna jump right into everything so I, I tried to separate it by the stuff that I had her you know pick up for me and that I paid her for then she there's also a couple things that um she de-stashed to me and then she threw in some extra goodies so we are just going to jump right in i'm going to try to get through this before it gets completely dark outside because i only use natural lighting so i know the lighting's already not too good right now as it is because it's been cloudy out all day and kind of rainy but pretty soon it's just going to be really dark outside so i'm trying to get this done before it just gets completely dark so so first here, I have a couple of brittles here from Sassy Girl Aroma. I have three brittles. I know two of them was purchased in one pre-order and then one of them was in another pre-order. I don't know when the pre-orders were. I honestly can't remember. But this first one here, me and Summer were trying to get for a while, but it had sold out for a couple of pre-orders in a row. So it popped up one day and she texted me. She's like, hey, it's back. Do you want this? And I said, yes, please pick it up for me. So this is Apple Butter Delight. It's slow cooked apples, caramelized sugar, brown butter, steamed milk, and creamy caramel. This smells really good. I don't think this is a dupe. I don't know if it's supposed to be a dupe for a Sensi's apple butter frosting, but it doesn't smell like one to me. The uh, Sensi's is more spicy. This is just a nice, it kind of smells like more of like a fresh apple to me than a slow cooked apple. And then I do get the brown butter and a slight hint of caramel. I think this is gonna be really, really pretty when it warms. So I'm definitely excited to finally be able to try this. Next, we have Crushing 71 at the Beach. This is caramelized vanilla, toasted macadamia nut, sea salt, white chocolate, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, and coconut blossom. And I believe this is Beach Nights mixed with the Sol de Janeiro uh, 71 scent, which is like a toasted macadamia nut scent, which I actually just got um, last week during the Sephora sale for the first time. And oh my God. That scent is delicious. And so is this brittle. Oh my God. You get the beach nights, but then you get that toasted macadamia nut with the caramelized vanilla. Oh my God. This might end up being one of my new favorite beach night ones. This smells so good. And I'm actually gonna put this aside for my warming basket. And I am actually going to be melting this one really soon. So that is crushing 71 at the beach. And the last brittle here is beach flurries, which is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. So this is beach nights with the pink lavender and the cashmere woods. And this is another really good beach nights. You get the beach nights, you get that lavender with a slight hint of cashmere woods. It's really, really pretty beach nights blend. I think this is gonna be a beautiful bedroom slash bedtime scent. Really good, so that is Beach Flurries. Next, I have three mini lobes uh, from Second and Spruce. 
Um, this was the my first time ever trying second in spruce and it was I know it was summer's first time too And there was only two cents that were like, you know, really screaming my name because I was trying to be good on my purchasing and everything and try to be more realistic about the amount of wax that I'm bringing in So she's like if you want anything just let me know So I told her the two cents that I was interested in I got two mini loaves in one cent and then one mini loaf in the other and this first one is called Dark Nights. It's Palo Santo, Malo Fireside, Vanilla Bean Malo, and Blackberry. I know her wax is like really soft, so the bag is already like smudged and everything, which I don't care about. So I'm just going to melt it anyways. But this is really good. You get the Palo and the Blackberry. Like first and foremost, I get the Blackberry and then the Palo. With a slight hint of that Marshmallow Fireside. And then you get like a slight, slight, slight creaminess from the vanilla bean mallow. This is really good. And that's what the mini loaf looks like. So I'm excited to finally try out Second and Spruce. I've heard so many good things about her wax, so. And then the next one, well, the last one here from Second and Spruce is the two mini loaves that I got in the same scent. And this scent I got because of Brittany Joyce here on YouTube hyped the scent up so much and said how amazing it was. So when I saw it on the list, I knew I wanted to try it. This is Milk and Cookies, which is rich sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, buttercream, sweet milk, and an extra pinch of sugar. And let me tell you, this smells delicious. I can understand why Brittany loves this so much. This is just an amazing bakery scent. You get the rich sugar cookies with the sugar cookie dough. I do get a hint of that sweet milk and the buttercream. It's like you get all the notes and they're all just blended so well together. It really does smell like milk and cookies and it is absolutely delicious. I'm so happy that I got too many loaves in that. And then Summer, who is also kind enough, she actually sent me both samples that came in the second and spruce order, which Summer, you did not have to do that. But, um, but I appreciate it very much. This first one is buttered rum eggnog. I know you had texted me and asked me if I liked eggnog scents. And um, sometimes eggnog scares me because I don't like the boozy eggnog. I like the more of like the creamy eggnog. And that's what this is. This is more of like a creamy with a touch of spice for the eggnog. It's not a boozy eggnog to me. Cause yeah, I'm not into the boozy notes, but this actually smells really good. And I'm really interested to see how that does on warm. And then the other sample here is it's raining pumpkins, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin roll, pumpkin cupcake, and cinnamon sugar. This is a really good pumpkin. You get the pumpkin pecan waffles. You do get the pumpkin cupcake because there is a slight spiciness from the pumpkin cupcake with the cinnamon sugar. Mm, that is really good. All right, I think that was all from Second and Spruce. Next is Rose Girls. So she did have an RTS. I can't remember how long ago it was, the RTS. But um, she had only had a couple of things that I was interested in. So I asked, uh, Summer had asked me if, it, uh, if I wanted anything. And I asked for two mini melter bags. And the first one is apple butter muffins, which is apple butter, vanilla, and cookie crumble. If you can't tell, I am team apple and I'm definitely on an apple kick lately. Mm. And this smells so good. You get the apple butter with the cookie crumble. And this is more of like that spicier apple butter. This is kind of like similar to the apple butter frosting from Scentsy, but it is really, really good. So that is apple butter muffins. Next, I keep forgetting I need to put this in a new bag because I ripped the bag open when I was going to smell it. This is one of my favorite Rose Girl scents ever. This is Resting Witch Face, which is apple, pumpkin, marshmallow, and baked zucchini bread. I still have some of the mini melter bag from last year, but when I saw it again this year, I'm like, I want to get a fresh bag. And I just like so excited that I completely like ripped the bag. So I need to rebag this. But it's so good. You get the apple, you get the pumpkin, and you get like that baked zucchini bread. You get kind of like a spiciness. 
from the baked zucchini bread. It is so, so good. So I'm gonna actually put that aside now so I can remember to rebag that. All right. And lastly here from the uh, stuff that I uh, had Summer pick up for me, this is from Southbound. So um, the first one that I have here is a scent that Summer had been raving about. So when it was being offered, she asked me if I wanted uh, to try it out. And I said, yes, please. And then so this is Lavender Cream Puffs. It's lavender, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream, and confectioner's sugar. And this is really good. You get that lavender. You get the bakery dough and like a sweet cream note, it's really good. This is gonna be a beautiful bedroom scent. My favorite lavender scent though is still Sweet Nights from um, Sassy Girl Aroma, which is her sweet lavender mixed with Beach Nights. Love that scent. But this one is really good. Next is Charmed Cookies, which is rich vanilla sugar cookies, smoky woods, chamomile, cardamom with a hint of lavender and oak moss. Honestly, these aren't really like my scent notes, but I really got it because of the name. Because it reminded me of Charmed, the original TV show from the late 90s, early 2000s. And that is like my all-time favorite TV show ever. So when I saw this, I'm like, I really just wanted it because of the name. But it smells pretty good. I don't really get too much sugar cookies. I do get like that chamomile with the smoky woods and a hint of lavender. It's definitely like a a fresh earthy scent so I will melt it just to see how it does but like I said I basically got it because of the name and then lastly here from Southbound this is Salty Siren this is lavender marshmallow cream and salty sea air I love lavender and salty sea air so and this is really good this is the same lavender that's used in the lavender cream puffs it's a sweet lavender with that salty sea air Really, really good. It's going to be another great bedtime scent. Next, we have some Teddy Bees. So I, there was two tubs that I actually purchased from Summer because she was looking to um, de-stash some stuff. Sorry, I feel like I got hair on my lip. Okay. So, and when she had sent me some pictures of some stuff that she wanted to de-stash, I was like, yes, please. Because actually I had originally asked her if she had any um, I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. And she said, yeah, she said that she had a tub in a souffle that she was looking to de-stash. So I told her, I was like, I will definitely buy that tub off of you. Oh, it's so good. Sorry, I didn't read the notes. I heart vanilla blended with juicy apple, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. And this is just amazing. You get the juicy apple with the clove and the cinnamon. So, so good. Mm. I have a souffle that I'm almost done with. And then I was like, oh my God, I don't have any more. So Summer, thank you so much for de-stashing this to me. And she had also sent me a, a couple of pictures and I was like, I will take this one too. This is strawberry pound cake, a blend of white and yellow cake, strawberry buttercream, strawberries and marshmallow whip. And this is the house blend. So it's not the Bath and Body Works type, but it still smells really good. You get the strawberry with the cake note and the creaminess. It's just a really creamy strawberry pound cake. And then we actually did a trade for this souffle because she had, we were in a group chat and she had asked anybody if she, if anybody had um, any Oasis from Teddy Bees that they wanted to de-stash. And I told her, I was like, I have a souffle that I melted once and I like it. I said, but it's not an absolute love. I said, if you want it, I said, you can gladly have it. And she said that she would do a trade with me. So she sent me Blackberry Boardwalk, which is beach treats, sweet lavender, blackberries, and plumeria. And this is really good. You get the beach nights with a hint of blackberries and a little bit of plumeria. I don't get any sweet lavender yet, but I'm sure that it will come out on warm. So I'm excited to try this one out. So Summer, thank you for doing a swap with me. And then I believe the rest of this now is extra goodies that Summer threw in. This first one here is from Birdie's Making Sense and this is zucchini pumpkin bread. Mm. 
Mm. And that's what it is. It's zucchini and pumpkin. Exact it is really good. I'm looking forward to trying that. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Birdie's Making Sense. I know Summer has sent me one other thing, but I haven't melted it yet. Next is from Traverse City Wax, but this is back when she was called uh, Ava's Country Cupboard. This is Pumpkin Zucchini Crunch. Pumpkin, yellow cake, zucchini bread, and caramel. This is really good. You get that pumpkin with the zucchini bread and a slight, slight hint of the yellow cake. It's a little bit more of a spicier pumpkin, but it still smells really good. Next summer, I was so happy when I opened this box and saw this, like this is my all time favorite Scentsy scent and it is my beloved Vanilla Waves. So Summer, thank you so much for sending this to me. Oh, this scent just makes me happy. It's one of those scents when you just smell it, it makes you happy. This is it for me. I love Vanilla Waves. And I did not have a club at the time when this was out. And I didn't know at the time I was still very new to Scentsy last year. I didn't know that they were, you know, notorious for taking away all the good scents. Otherwise, I would have had this in a club. It is so good. And this is a scent that I seriously like don't ever want to be without. And then the another scentsy bar she kindly sent me because I was in search of this is maraschino sugar cookie. And this is really good. I'm usually not into cherry scents. And then when I had, I do have a little, I have a couple cubes of a bar left from last year. And... I think I've warmed up to it a little bit more. So that's why when I melted it the second time, I was like, oh, I actually really like this. And of course, I don't have it in my club. So, mm, so good. Summer, thank you so much for sending me this one too. Oh, I can't even tell you how happy I was when I saw that. Next, this is the Pride Collection. I don't, oh, this is the Bewitching Wax Co. I don't think she's in business anymore. But this is called Cauldron Shop. And it's freshly baked blueberry cobbler and warm honey cornbread. I know she used to have a shop on Etsy. I think I had purchased from her once. And then I don't think she's in business now. But this is really good. You get the honey cornbread with a slight hint of blueberry. I love me a good blueberry bakery. So I'm excited to try that. From L3 we have, is it Lavosa? Apple cider, leaves, and spice. Sorry if I butchered that name. Mm. Yep, exactly. Apple spice, apple cider, and leaves. Perfect. I love leaves. Leaves is just like, you know, the quintessential fall scent. Amazing. This is from Candles from the Keeping Room, which I have never tried her wax before, and I know that she's closing at the end of this year, so. This is Cinnamon Roll Vanilla Frosting. I've already smelled it, and it's really good. I'm not going to smell it right now because it's going to make too much noise with all the crinkling of the paper, but it really is just a delicious cinnamon roll with vanilla frosting. Really, really good. I love a good cinnamon roll scent. And she also sent me, oh, this is another souffle from Teddy Bees. I had totally forgot about this one. She was um, asking if there was any scents that I was interested in trying. This is Snow Cones by the Sea. This is watermelon, black cherry, juicy apples, and salty sea air. I know this scent gets a lot of hype, but I've never tried it because I was scared about the black cherry and the watermelon. But this actually smells really good. You do get the watermelon and the hints of black cherry. And I do get the apples in the salty sea air. It does smell good. I don't think it's going to be one that I need like tons and tons of, but I'm happy to have a souffle to try of that. So Summer, thank you so much for sending this to me to try. A few more things here. We have L3 Hay, Hay Leaves Cinnamon Donuts. This is really good. You get the cinnamon donuts with the hints of the leaves. Mm. It's really good. Like I said, I love anything with leaves in it. 
And also from L3 is So Fetch. This is Strawberry Pound Cake and today is October 3rd. I love L3's Strawberry Pound Cake and obviously I love her October 3rd, but I love her Strawberry Pound Cake though. She has a really good creamy Strawberry Pound Cake, but mixed with the today's October 3rd, so good, which is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and something else. <laughs> And then we have two samples here from Sassy Girl Aroma. The first one is Cranberry Sugared Cider. And this is really nice. It is cranberry with like a sweet cider note. I actually like this. If she offered this in a bigger size, I would probably get it. it smells really good. I do love a good cranberry scent. And then the other one is called Dump Tank, which I don't know the notes and I've never heard of it. This is really light. It's like a light, kind of smells like a fresh scent. I don't know for sure, but yeah, that is light, but we'll see how that does on warm. And then lastly here we have from Fantasy Wax Melts, this is Hot Apple Pie which is apple pie crust and cinnamon. And it just smells like a nice apple pie. I'll have to see how this does on warm because typically I don't have luck with fantasy wax melts, even though everything smells so good on cold, but then when I warm it, I get like nothing. So we will see how this one does. So that was hot apple pie. And that is everything that I have from my friend mail from summer. So summer, once again, thank you so much for, you know, offering to pick up a few things for me here and there from the different releases that's been going on. I know there's been so many different releases happening. So, and you know that anytime if you want something that and I'm participating in, but you don't, you know, want to place an order, you know, I am happy to pick up anything that you want. Um, so yeah. If you guys are not subscribed yet to Summer's channel, please go and check out her channel. I will leave her uh, link in the description box down below. Please go show her some love and some support. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment in the description box. I mean, you know, a comment <laughs> if I can talk. And I would love to chat with you all in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that Summer had sent me. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.